fractions, decimals and percentages are all simply different ways of expressing a proportion of something. We can convert each of them to one of the others to make our calculations simpler. They are all just different ways of showing parts of a whole. It's important that you see them as being closely related and completely interchangeable with each other. For example, if you eat half your pizza, this is the same as 50%, or 0 0.5 of the whole pizza. This table shows the most common conversions, ones you should be aware of without having to work anything out. Let's start with fractions. You'll need to become familiar with the fraction wall and some important terms. First, the denominator. It's always on the bottom and tells us how many equal pieces a whole is divided into. The numerator, always on the top, tells us how many pieces of the whole that this fraction represents. A proper fraction has a numerator that is smaller than its denominator and represents a quantity less than the whole. Here are some examples. An improper fraction has a numerator larger than its denominator and represents a quantity greater than the whole. When converting between fractions, decimals and percentages, a useful method to adopt is bar modelling. This is simply representing quantities and proportions as rectangles that get divided into halves, thirds, quarters and so on. We can calculate a fraction of a quantity by first drawing it in the bar showing the length of the bar to be the quantity and then calculating the length of the shaded part. Bar modelling gives us a visual representation of dividing by the denominator and multiplying by the numerator. It also gives us a clear way to understand the representation of equivalent fractions and simplifying fractions. Understanding place value in decimal numbers is important when converting between fractions and decimals. This approach lets us deal with lots of misconceptions, such as 0 0.52 being larger than 0 0.6, or 6.2 being larger than 7. We can now take our bar model and put a decimal number line onto it. Understanding how the decimal number line works and drawing bar models for fractions can really help when converting between fractions and decimals. Now let's add a percentage number line. We can now convert between fractions, decimals and percentages. We draw the fraction bar first, then put on the decimal increments by dividing 1 by the denominator. Finally, we can show the percentages by dividing 100 by the denominator. Here are some examples for you to try yourself.